Hey, it's Earth Soft Mike, and I'm here today to do yet another unboxing. Yes, I'm back. Now, um, remember this bad boy? Oh, you mean one of these bad boys? Couldn't I bother you for something a little less vulgar? But, um, do you remember this bad boy? Let's take it to the range. Ding dong. Both are Airsoft shotguns. Both excite me greatly because they work just like a shotgun. But then I got loads of people saying to me, yes, of Mike, check out the APS cam. It's a shell ejecting shotgun. And I thought, oh, hell yeah. So I didn't get one. What? <laughs> Wait, the main reason being is I looked into it. Fantastic airsoft shotgun. Do not get me wrong. But the whole process of putting the shell together with the BBs and the wadding and everything. Oh man, please. Can we not just get a system a little bit more easier? Yes. It's not APS. It's not a Maruzen. It's a PPS. I thought there was nothing more Airsoft could offer in terms of realistic Airsoft shotguns. And then I come across the Maruzen, I come across the APS cam, I come across the Tokyo Marui, and I come across this PPS. Now, before I go any further and show you any of the features on this Airsoft shotgun, let me put this out there straight away. I have all intentions of also getting the APS cam, but not just yet. This to me is the underdog. When people talk about airsoft shell ejecting shotguns, you really hear anyone mention PPS. And I thought, let me just get this PPS in because it comes in a bit cheaper than the APS cam. And let's see if it's really worth it. Let's see if it actually works. Let's see, and this is what I'm fully expecting, for the shells that allegedly eject out of the side here from this ejection port, let's see if they jam. Let's see if it actually doesn't live up to what it says on the box. So, before I actually test that out, let's get through, or go through, should I say, some of the features of this PPS Airsoft Shotgun. Right, for starters, there are two variations of this in terms of material, as in what they're built out of. You can get the one that's made out of metal and some form of hard plastic or polymer, ABS, or you can get this bad boy, which is made out of real wood, not fake wood, this is real wood, steel and aluminium. Oh, and for my American viewers out there, aluminum. To us, it's really aluminium. So here you got your rubber butt pad. Here you got your full wooden stock. 
You have your full metal receiver, full metal trigger guard and trigger. Here you have your ejection port and your bolt. And here you have your loading gate or your shell elevator. Here's your action bar. Here you have your wooden fore end or fore stock. And of course you've got your full metal barrel. And right here on the front you've got your little golden bead sight. And at the rear of the trigger guard you've got your safety. Oh and let's not forget right here you've got your action release. I'll show you what that does later. You've also got your sling points here and here right above your magazine cap. And just like the real steel it's got 870 police magnum. But on the real steel where this one says model it will say Remington. And another cool feature of this PPS Airsoft shotgun is that it has its own serial number. So, so far people, I am loving the look of this. I am loving the authenticity. It looks just like the Remington 870 pump action shotgun. But of course, yes. Oh, did you hear that sound? But anyway, yes. This is the Airsoft version. What a satisfying noise. I am absolutely loving the fact that this is real wood, real metal. Um, the wood finish on this, I like that it's a darker stain because sometimes with airsoft weapons like my Winchester, it's a very light colored wood, almost makes it look like some piece of Ikea furniture or something. But with this 870 right here, it's a much darker finish, which I do like. But I think what I will do, in fact, no, I definitely will get a bit of varnish on here, get it nice and shiny. I'm gonna polish up the metal nicely as well, make it look nice. Right now it just looks a bit weathered, which I suppose is quite good, makes it look even more realistic. But hey, when I keep waxing lyrical about how realistic certain airsoft weapons look, it's only because they are fantastic when I'm doing my movie productions. It, you know, you really can't tell the difference between this and the real deal unless you're an absolute expert and look really closely. But then again, with clever editing, clever camera angles, and clever positioning of this guy and watch, you'd never know. Okay people, so far I am absolutely loving this PPS M870 pump action, the one that ejects the shells from the side. It looks good, feels awesome, and sounds amazing. So earlier on, during the unboxing sequence, I showed you some shells. Now, this particular airsoft shotgun comes with two of these polymer or plastic shells and a little metal adapter right here. And I'll show you exactly what you would use this for. But like always, there are always aftermarket better options out there for nearly everything in Airsoft. And when I say aftermarket, it's actually still made by PPS, but you can get the metal shotgun shells, they're this color, and unlike these plastic ones right here, these take three BBs, and of course you fill the gas up on the bottom, right there with green gas. These bad boys also takes green gas and even CO2, and they take six BBs. Now remember I said to you about this thing called action release? Let me just show it to you on the gun. So it's right here at the front of the trigger guard. Can you see it? That metal flat piece right there. Well, let me show you what it does. So let's say I put a shell in, shells in, ready to fire. And then I decide actually, I want that shell back out and I don't want to fire the gun. All you have to do is put your finger on this action release right here and hold it and whilst you're holding it, so let's show it to you close up, that thing right there. So I've got my finger on it, I'm holding it down, and without firing the gun, I can release the shell. Excellent. Okay, so I've shown you all the pros that I like about this particular PPS M870 Airsoft shell ejecting shotgun. But what about the cons? Well, I found two so far, and that's even before I fired the thing. Right here where the wood stock joins the metal receiver, that's a little bit loose. Can you see that there? Just a slight give right there. Not to worry, I can tighten that up so that's nothing major. And the other little con that I didn't like, which I would have preferred if it was much better, is the finish on the wood. 
it could have been done a lot nicer. I do know that the APS Cam 870 has a much better wood finish on it, but then again, it's a much more expensive airsoft shotgun, I do believe. But there's nothing wrong with me doing a nice little project and polishing this up nicely so it looks just as good as the APS. So yeah, those are the two cons that I mentioned, but hey, both of those are easily rectified. Okay, so before I can take it to the range, I'm gonna show you how to work these bad boys right here. As I mentioned before, these come free with the airsoft shotgun, and I'm gonna show you now how to put the gas in and to load the BBs. So right here, you've got your airsoft shotgun shell, and on the bottom right here, you have your valve where you will put your gas. And this little metal contraption right here is your charger head. And where does that go? That goes into the place where you would normally put your BBs. But you're not gonna put your BBs in just yet. So you put your charger head in there like so, turn it upside down, place it preferably on a flat surface like that. And then you put your green gas right there. Now I've never used these shells before, so I'm just gonna guess that I'll probably just give it one or two seconds of gas. Then you grab your speed loader, or you could put them in individually by hand. And you fill it up with BBs. And as I mentioned before, it only takes three, so the speed loader tried to put four. So there's your fourth one on the top, so I'll just shake that off. And you're left with three BBs inside the shell. That is ready to go. So what about these bad boys right here? Well, like I mentioned before, these are metal. And unlike these two right here, these only take three BBs each. These bad boys take six each and they can also use CO2 gas. So just like the plastic ones, these metal ones, I'm gonna put some green gas in there. I'm not going to use CO2 today because I don't have that CO2 adapter thingamabob, Ujima Flip, Dubri Firkin thing that you use to put the CO2 <laughs> in the shell. I'm just gonna use some green gas. And these pretty much work like your airsoft grenades. You know the ones where you have to push the button in first, then put the gas in, then put the BBs in? Well, it's pretty much what these are but they are, for all intents and purposes, airsoft shotgun shells. So the first thing I do, again, this little contraption comes in handy, is I grab this. You have to push this silver section right here on the bottom of the shell, using this charger head. There you go, BBs are in, Gas is in, this is now ready to go. Now it's very, very important that you don't accidentally press this silver button while you've got this in your hand or while you've got this pointing at anyone or anything because it will go off and you will be in a world of hurt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these other remaining shells ready and then, <laughs> let's take it to the range. Right, so the test I'm gonna do now is that instead of putting six BBs into each of these shells, the purple metal ones, I'm just gonna put fewer BBs in them. I'm gonna put two BBs in each shell and let's see if we get a different FPS reading. Now have a look. Straight away, 308 FPS. So I'm gonna conduct this test again, 
But this time I'm just going to put a single BB in each of these shells and then we're going to check the FPS once again on this PPS shell ejecting airsoft shotgun. And there, whoops, hit the camera there. Have a look at that. This is with one BB in the shell. Hey. 